Hi guys, it's me, how are all of you? Welcome back to my channel, I hope you're well. So today, I am, first things first, as you might have noticed, I am filming on a new camera. So yes, we are upgrading uh, in the camera, in the tech department. And I got the infamous Canon G7X, which everybody and their mother and their grandmother and their auntie and their cousin owns. Decided to invest and buy it. I hope this video turns out good. I mean, from the viewfinder, the, the quality is amazing. But uh, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Let's get into the video ASAP because this is a video that you guys have been asking me for a while and forgive me for putting it off for so long. It's just that, I have to be honest, I get excited when it comes to filming new things that I buy or new things that I buy and new things that I buy. But then when it comes to talking about things that I already own, I'm like, <laughs> not exciting at all, you know? So I like that. But, um, so yeah, I thought, but I don't have other filming ideas, honestly. So I admit this is the reason why I'm filming it. I'm going to film my five most favorite luxury items. Um, and this is the criteria I used. I own several luxury pieces, okay? I have several handbags, I have several shoes, clothing wear, a few accessories, not too much. But, uh, so that's, that's plenty of stuff, okay, to talk about. But this video doesn't want to be, um, a video in which I show off all the things I have. Or it's not a collection, my luxury collection. The criteria I use to choose these items is such that if tomorrow all my beautiful things would disappear, I would be devastated for a long time. But after the shock, these are items that I would truly, truly miss. Because these are items that are so much into my everyday life, so much into my routine, that not having them, I would... I would miss them. I would miss them because they are no longer in my life. To the point in which I will, honestly, a good 95%, I would repurchase if I would not have any one of these items. Actually, no, a good 100%. I would definitely repurchase these items if they were to, you know, disappear and uh, no longer be in my life. That's how much I love them. So, let's get right into it. Right, so, let's start with handbags because it is our most favourite um, category of fashion, okay? I decided to split the handbag section into two because I have bigger handbags for work and then I have smaller handbags for uh, weekends out and lunches and dinners and uh, shopping, stuff like that. So I didn't want to, I not because I didn't want to, I just couldn't pick one handbag that would go well for working and uh, weekends. I don't have that sort of handbag because for me, when I go to work, my handbag has to be bigger because I have to bring with me my kitchen sink. Whereas when I go out uh, like during the weekends and stuff or on a holiday, I don't need that bigger bag. I need a small, smaller bag, but not too small, just the correct, the correct size to put all my junk. So I had to pick two. I had to pick two different bags with two different sizes. So let's start with the first bag. This is the bigger bag. This is the bag, my bag of choice for when I go to work. And it is the, this is my Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 in the beautiful Demiere event. Guys, I love this handbag so freaking much. Words cannot describe. I love, this bag is an extension of myself. Like, when I die, please put this handbag with me in the grave because that's how much I love it. It's actually surprising because this is one of my least expensive handbags in all my collection. And it is my favorite bag for work. I, I love it. I love everything about it. I love the Demi Araban. I love the size. It's a perfect size. I love the way it slouches. I am anti-bag shaper. At all. I mean, I feel that if you want to put a bag shaper in the, the Speedy Louis Vuitton, don't buy it. And buy a more structured bag. Because I feel that the Speedy, it has to slouch. Otherwise, it's not a Speedy. That's how I see it. Anyway, I love it. I have my 
Hello Kitty as Varofsky um, back charm. She's my favorite. She's my darling. I love her. I wear her, I want to say, a good half, if not three quarters of the year as my average as my everyday bag. That's how much I love her. So yes, this is bag number one in my luxury favorites. And then we have the bag of choice for my weekend. I'm sorry, but it is another Louis Vuitton. And it is the beautiful Louis Vuitton um, Pochette Matisse in the reverse monogram. I freaking adore this bag. I, you see, this is the thing. When I had to choose mm, my items to show in my luxury favorites, it was not a difficult task at all because the items just came to me. I, I, deep down, I know what are my favorite things in my, you know, whole luxury collection. And this is one of them. Um, this is a bag that I actually brought with me on holiday when I went to Malaysia a few years back. And I feel that when you choose a bag, when you go on holiday, you know it's a favorite because when you go on holiday, the last thing you want is to carry a bag that is uncomfortable and doesn't fit your things and that a bag that you have to worry about. This is a bag that I do not need to worry about. It's and it's fashion, okay? Obviously, you want fashion. Obviously, you want to feel glam even when you're on a holiday, actually, especially when you're on a holiday because you're taking, you're taking a ton of pictures. But yeah, so it's it ticks all the boxes. This is a beautiful, beautiful bag and also you know just like the the speedy 30 in the whole luxury world these are bags that do not break the bank and they are beautiful so i mean i feel that you really get your money's worth you get a beautiful bag and i love it let me show you the inside i didn't show you the inside of the speedy 30 because it's basically a big red hole i love the red of the um of the Damiara band. And this is what the bag looks like inside. There are three compartments uh, in which you can put so many things. And I absolutely love the uh, flap with the reverse monogram. It's a beautiful, beautiful, I love the reverse monogram on this size, on this type of bag, on the Pochette Matisse. I think it's very, very nice. So yeah, this is my favorite, 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 um, go-to bag uh, for the weekends or for leisure in general let's just say look what I found inside hand sanitizer it's like finding gold you know in this time in this in this era I'm gonna keep it in here okay that was all for handbags now we can move on to shoes and for shoes just like handbags I could not pick just one because my favorite winter shoe is not my favorite summer shoe obviously for obvious reasons so I had to pick um, I had to pick um, my favorite shoe for the colder months and my favorite go-to shoe for the spring summer months Let's start with the colder months. My favorite go-to shoe, my ride or die, is my Givenchy boots. I don't even know if these boots have a technical name. I don't think so. They're just the, the Givenchy boots. In the um, suede brown color. Oh my God, these shoes I love so, so, so much. They are so comfortable, I could literally sleep in these boots. Um, I bought them, I want to say, a couple of winters ago. So this is actually my second winter. This has been my second winter using these shoes. These shoes has been with me through thick and thin, good weather, bad weather, snow, rain, you name it. And um, I did spray them initially when I got them with that uh, spray protect spray protector for suede but I did it just once I'm thinking I should respray them again maybe in the next season but oh I love them I love the color because this brown with denim especially dark blue denim which is the kind of denim you would wear in the colder months oh a match made in heaven looks so so good actually brown looks good it's like black it goes looks good with almost everything I want to say and then the buckles the buckles the hardware the details on these boots are like undescribable really 
um, that's so much character but still um, they go with everything it makes a statement and uh, I love these boots I love these boots so much that I definitely would like to get the black version but honestly I am a bit debated I'm a bit torn because um, I, I, f I fear that if I get the black pair, I might not wear these as much. And I already have several black um, ankle boots for the winter time. I mean, I have my Acme Studios Jensen boots. Amazing. I have my, oh, the, the Chloe, Su Chloe Susanna boots. So I feel that in the black boot department, I'm pretty much set. So this one stands alone in the brown boot department and I love them. This shoe, if I would lose, I would repurchase 100%. I cannot go through a winter without these. That's how much I love them. And then for my spring summer shoe, I had to choose because I have several of these shoes in different colors in my collection. So I mean, it was an easy pick the gucci loafers yes guys the gucci loafers the gucci loafers are my go-to shoe every day of the week in spring and summer they are all i wear almost more than the sneakers i have to admit i love them so so much this is uh, this pair in particular has a a special place in my heart I just love the white with all the embellishments the B and the star and everything it's a cute it's a cute shoe this is a shoe that alone makes an outfit but I obviously have my red Gucci loafers I have the pink Gucci loafers so I mean my love for the Gucci loafers is pretty much um, self-explained but uh, and this year I feel that I need to get the black I've been push pushing off the black for a while because there's always a color that I want to that I want to get but I feel that I need the black I pretty much feel that I need the black so yeah I, I, I and I will continue getting Gucci, Gucci loafers um, in other colors because they are so comfortable and they are loafers guys so they go with everything I wear them to work they go with dresses they go with jeans you can wear any outfit with uh, a loafer I'm not saying Gucci obviously but the loafer shoe as a type of shoe it goes with everything so you don't have to worry and plus they are flat, so super, super comfortable. On my Gucci loafers, I always, always put a rubber sole, also with the uh, Givenchy, because I don't know what it is, uh, but luxury high-end shoes, uh, because they are made of 100% leather, they are very, very slippery. So uh, the first thing I do, I try them on, and the next day, they are off to the cobblers to put a uh, rubber sole. So yeah, but besides that, it's all good. These shoes are amazing. And then um, another category that I wanted to touch in my luxury favorites is clothing. I own, I want to say a lot of uh, luxury high-end clothing, but I do own several pieces, especially in the knitwear section. I love knitwear. I love knitwear. I'm a knitwear snob. And if I had to pick one brand that, uh, in my opinion, makes very good knitwear at a not impossibly high price i would have to say alberta ferretti in fact i am wearing one of my Alber alberta ferretti sweaters i was actually wearing my Alber uh, an alberta ferretti sweater in my what's in my uh, what's on my ipad video my previous video that among all my alberta ferretti sweaters is my most favorite because i love the yellow i think it's a beautiful happy yellow but this also i love it's red it's it belongs to the um weekday collection you know the I'm sure you've seen it the ones with the name of the day on the sweater today Saturday and so yes I'm wearing my Saturday sweater but the reason why I say Alberta Ferretti is because her sweaters are obviously 100% wool they keep super super um, warm because her sweaters are always in a capsule collection so they are never permanent inevitably they go on sale in fact I've never paid full price for my Alberta Ferretti sweaters. Full price is about 440 I want to say, which is a lot of money. I'm not saying it's not. It's a lot of money. But in the sales, you can find them at 200 because they are not permanent. So they go on sale, all of them. So what I'm trying to say is, if you want to invest in a high-end luxury um, sweater, 
go in the Alberto Ferretti section, you will find uh, several pieces of knitwear. And then I wanted to show you guys my last piece of luxury favourites. This is also a piece, just like all the other items I show you guys, a piece that if would disappear tomorrow, I would repurchase it because I just love wearing it. It's beautiful, it's fabulous, it keeps warm and I just need it for the winter time. What am I talking about? The Louis Vuitton Logomania scarf in the red, in the ruby red color. I absolutely freaking lutely love this scarf. It is, this is a part of me, okay? This too is an extension of me. I love it so, so much. It's 94% wool, 6% silk. Dry clean only, made in Italy, but I'm pretty sure that my mother has hand washed this uh, for me several times. Uh, I usually wash it or send it to the dry cleaners, whatever, at the end of every winter because, I mean, obviously it's full of foundation stains and whatnot and also to freshen it up a little bit. So, yes, this scarf, guys, is everything. I love it. I am very particular when it comes to winter scarf because in the winter time, if my neck is well covered and kept warm, I'm fine. My whole body is fine. But if I'm not wearing the proper winter scarf, I feel cold around my neck and it gets into my body, I, I, I cannot stand it. I really, really suffer the cold. That is why for me, a winter scarf, a good winter scarf is crucial. And when I find one that I like, I wear it all the time. And that's why I also don't go cheap on winter scarves because I, they are so important for me to feel good in the winter time, to not get sick, all these things. So yes, and this is definitely one of my favorites, if not my only favorite uh, winter scarf um, uh, for life. I, I love it so much. Okay guys, so that's that. These are all the items that I wanted to talk to you guys about. I could have picked so many other items, okay? And uh, show you guys more handbags, more shoes, more clothing, accessories and whatnot. But uh, that's not the purpose of this video. As I said in the beginning, it is not a collection of uh, my luxury pieces. It's not a video to show you guys, oh, look at all the beautiful things I have. No, these are items that I love. The purpose of this video is to show you guys, yes, these are things that I love. But uh, these are things that I will genuinely miss if tomorrow they would disappear just like that which I hope never happens because I really really love these items these items are so much into my routine into my everyday life that um, I would miss them I really really miss them and I recommend if somebody would ask me can you recommend me a an everyday bag I would tell them without shadow of a doubt go for a Louis Vuitton Speedy if not the 30 the 25 which is actually behind me so you know it depends on what size you want but the speedy as a bag i feel is a beautiful everyday bag or if you want a crossbody go for the pochette matisse you know what i mean so i would recommend them if somebody would ask me oh i want to buy a pair of you know slip-ons for the summertime i would say go with the gucci loafers because they are amazing so yeah these are items that i really really wanted to these are items that I really, really like. They are my favorites in my luxury collection. And uh, I wanted to make a video of them. And also because you guys requested this video. So yes, I'm being totally honest. Right, so I hope this video went well. It was my first time recording with this camera. So I'm a little bit stressed. Uh, but I hope all went well. I hope you guys are well. Keeping sane, keeping strong. Actually, my next video should be a day in the life. I really want to film that video. Honestly, I've already filmed it twice. I didn't like how it came out and so I haven't, that's why it's not up yet. So I might try to film it again, maybe with this camera and we'll see, we'll see what comes out. Anyway, that's, that's the plan, okay, for the next week. So hopefully next weekend you will see it. And let me know if you like this video. Let me know if you like the things that I show you guys. Let me know what's, what's your favorites, you know, luxury or non-luxury, who gives a damn? Let me know what, what are those items that for you, if tomorrow would disappear, you would truly, truly miss. So yes, until next time, bye-bye.